Time to catch up with all the sport now. We're going to talk to Jess. Good morning. Good morning, Naga. We're starting with athletics this morning. Chief Executive of UK Anti-Doping, Nicole Sapsted, has said the public should be confident that UK athletes are drug-free. This is after, of course, blood test results of 5,000 international athletes were leaked, showing atypical blood scores. Now, Europeans, uh, Britain's European 10,000-metre champion, Joe Pavia, has released her blood test results and find out why she felt the need to do that at 10 o'clock. And we move on to football, and plaudits are raining in for West Ham. 16-year-old midfielder Reese Oxford. He made his debut in the Premier League against Arsenal yesterday. Now, how about this from an, uh, for an endorsement from your boss? Manager Slavin Bilic said, if Lionel Messi was in front of me, I'd be more phased than Reese. Find out what Oxford made of his debut at 10 o'clock. And moving on to netball, the uh, final group games of the World Cup are underway. Wales are playing Uganda, with Scotland taking on Jamaica a little bit later. World number three, England, already through to the second round, of course. They play host Australia on Tuesday. And we'll be hearing from head coach Tracy Neville about how she's staying with the team despite the death of her father. So join me for all of that at 10 o'clock. Jess, thanks very much. It's time to catch up with the sports news now and talk to Jess. And Jess, doping, this is something that we were addressing last week when these reports came out and it's not going to go away anytime soon. We're talking athletics. Yes, good morning, Naga. You're very, uh, very correct there because Chief Executive of UK Anti-Doping, Nicole Sapsers, has said this morning that the public should be confident that UK athletes are drug-free. It comes after, of course, as you say, blood test results of 5,000 international athletes were leaked with atypical blood scores. European 10,000-metre champion Joe Pavey has lost out on medals when competitors have been subsequently banned for cheating, and she's decided to release her blood data to show that she is clean. But, she says, every athletes should not be forced to do the same. For me this decision was right to um, publish my results and I know it was for other athletes as well but um, I don't think we should be therefore saying that people aren't have got something to hide because it is a personal decision it's personal information but I personally saw it as an opportunity to put it out there but I'm not in any way suggesting that people that aren't have got something to hide. As I'm aware this list of that's been coming out. Obviously, I've been absolutely shocked by the sheer scale of the figures, but it's important to say this is a list of suspicious blood test results and not a list of cheats. So, from the 41-year-old Joe Pavey to this 16-year-old who started for West Ham in the Premier League yesterday as they beat Arsenal 2-0. Gary Lineker called Reese Oxford's debut truly astonishing. Well, a proud day for him and his family. Moving on to netball, and the World Cup continues this morning with Scotland taking on Jamaica in around 20 minutes' time. But earlier this morning, Wales fought to the very end to beat Uganda 49-47 in their final group game. England have already finished top of their pool, but it's been a tough time for their coach, Tracy Neville. Her father died on Friday on the day of their opening win over Scotland. But she's told Five Live this morning that she is determined to stay with the team despite her loss. And that's all the sport for now, Nagala. I'll have an update at 10.30. OK, see you then, Jess. Thanks very much. Time to catch up with all the sport now and join Jess at the BBC Sports Centre. Jess, doping, unfortunately, is what we're talking about again. Morning. Yes, good morning, Naga. I think you're right. This one's going to rumble on and on. Chief Executive of UK Anti-Doping, Nicole Sapsted, says that the public should be confident that UK athletes are drug-free. Britain's European 10,000-metre champion, Joe Pavey, says she is shocked at the recent leaking of blood test results from 5,000 international athletes and has released her blood scores to show that she is clean. West Ham's 16-year-old midfielder Reese Oxford has been praised for his performance in their win over Arsenal. Oxford became the second youngest player to start in the Premier League in the 2-0 victory. Wales are through to the second round of the Netball World Cup. They beat Uganda 49-47 this morning. Scotland are playing Jamaica right now. And England head coach Tracy Neville has told Five Live today that she will stay out in Australia to lead her team at the tournament in memory of her father who died suddenly in Sydney on Friday. England faced the hosts Australia on Tuesday. Those are the headlines for now. Back to you, Naga. Jess, thanks very much. Time for all the sports news now. We can go live to the BBC Sports Centre and join Jessica. Hi. Thanks, Sophie. Good afternoon. The chief executive of UK Anti-Doping, Nicole Sapsted, says that the public should be confident that UK athletes are drug-free. 
At the Netball World Cup in Australia, Wales have secured top spot in their group with victory over Uganda. Also this morning, Scotland have lost to Jamaica 71-24. Meanwhile, the England coach Tracy Neville has told the BBC that she is determined to stay with the team despite the loss of her father. He died on Friday in Sydney on the day of their first match, which they won. Gemma Gibbons will lead Britain's squad at the World Judo Championships in Kazakhstan later this month. The Olympic silver medalist missed the 2014 event in Russia because of an ankle ligament injury. That's all the sport for now. I'll have more in the next hour. Jessica, thank you very much. Sport, the chief executive of UK. I'll be back with more on all those stories just after 2.30. Oh, oh Jessica. <laughs> Definitely to sports. Good. Thank you. Good afternoon. The chief executive of UK Anti-Doping, Nicole Sapstead, says that the public should be confident that UK athletes are drug-free. It follows allegations in the Sunday Times. At the Netball World Cup in Australia, Wales have secured top spot in their group with victory over Uganda. And the England coach, Tracy Neville, has told the BBC that she is determined to stay with the team despite the loss of her father. He died on Friday in Sydney on the day of their first match, which they won. England cricket selector Angus Fraser says he felt anger about the criticism towards Captain Alistair Cook and the ECB, and the Ashes win vindicates the difficult decisions that were made. Fraser was speaking to Five Live Sports Extra this afternoon, and he says the series victory has proved the doubters wrong. Shane Lowry believes his recent win at the PGA Bridgestone International Invitational will catapult him to the next level of his career. Britain's swimmers are heading home after their most successful world championships ever. Adam Peaty was the star of the team, picking up three goals, with Team GB winning a record nine medals in total. Former world champions Mark Foster and Becky Adlington were impressed with the team's performance. And that's all the sport for now. Join me for more in the next hour. We will now. Jess, thanks very much. <laughs> it's time for the sport at the BBC Sports Centre. It's Jessica. Jess. Thank you and good afternoon. The chief executive of UK anti-doping, Nicole Sapstead, says that the public should be confident that UK athletes are drug-free. At the Netball World Cup in Australia, Wales have secured top spot in their group with victory over Uganda. Meanwhile, the England coach, Tracy Neville, has told the BBC that she is determined to stay with the team despite the loss of her father. He died on Friday in Sydney on the day of their first match, which they won. England cricket selector Angus Fraser says he felt anger about the criticism towards captain Alistair Cook and the ECB. And the Ashes win vindicates the difficult decisions that were made. Fraser was speaking to Five Live Sports Extra this afternoon and he says the series victory has proved the doubters wrong. Finally, Britain's swimmers are heading home after their most successful world championships ever. Adam Peaty was the star of the team, picking up three golds, with Team GB winning a record nine medals in total. Former world champions Mark Foster and Becky Adlington were impressed with the team's performance. And that's all the sport for now. Natalie Lindo will have more in the next hour.